a Jamaica all-inclusive resort with enough vibes for locals? Yes, it does exist and it's called Moon Palace Jamaica. In this video, I'll cover what it was like to fly to Jamaica from New York, the COVID-19 testing and visa requirements, the accommodations, the dining, the beach, the pool, the kids club, the arcade, the spa, the entertainment, the excursions, and I will explain why this resort is just as popular among local guests as international travelers, so keep watching. Many thanks to Moon Palace Jamaica for hosting us. Welcome back to Top Flight Family. My name is Carmen Sinyovi, and I'm so excited to tell you all about our trip to Moon Palace, Jamaica in Ocho Rios. This trip took place in mid-February, and the first thing we had to do was take a COVID test within 10 days of our departing flight. Jamaica accepts either a PCR test or a rapid test, but just to be on the safe side, we did a PCR test. Kids under 12 do not need to be tested. One thing that's important to know is that Jamaica requires that you get your test done at a facility that has something called a CLIA registration. There's a page on the CDC website where you can find a lab near you with this registration. We live in New York City, for example, where there's a chain of urgent care clinics called CityMD, and the location near us is CLIA certified, so that's where we had our tests done. Since our trip, Jamaica updated their requirements so that the test now has to be taken within three days of your departure, not 10. Travel requirements change very quickly these days, so if you have plans to visit Jamaica, be sure to check out the official tourism board website at visitjamaica.com to find out what the latest restrictions are. Once you have your negative test, you should apply online for your travel authorization, and this can be done anytime within five days of your departure. One thing to keep in mind is that you need to apply for a separate travel authorization for every member of the family. It's a bit tedious because on each individual travel authorization application, you also have to list the details of every every family member you're traveling with. So definitely give yourself enough time to go through this process. As part of the travel authorization, you have to sign a quarantine order, agreeing to stay within what Jamaica is calling the Resilient Corridor, which is made up essentially of the regions that cater to tourists. To be clear, this does not mean that you have to quarantine upon arrival. All it means is that you agree to either stay on property at your resort or to visit only the approved attractions within the Resilient Corridor. You can't just roam all over the island right now. This is Jamaica's way of reopening for tourism while keeping locals and more vulnerable local communities safe. So when you check in for your flight at the airport, each traveler who's 12 years old or older will need to show four things. Your passport, your negative COVID test results, your travel authorization, and your signed quarantine order. So when we got to the airport, something happened that we've never had happen in the 100 plus flights we've taken together as a family, and that is... We missed our flight. <laughs> it's embarrassing, but we totally messed up our timing calculations and got to the airport way too late. It's crazy because we've never even missed a connecting flight, let alone a regular departure from our home airport, so this was very unexpected. But luckily the JetBlue help desk was able to get us rebooked on a flight just a few hours later, so it all worked out. Now we usually fly out of Terminal 4 at JFK, but since we were flying JetBlue and not Delta, this time around we flew out of Terminal 5, and there were a couple of downsides. First, they don't have clear at this terminal, so we weren't able to zip through security as quickly as we usually do. If you want to learn about the benefits of using clear, check out our video on how to get through airport security in 8 minutes flat. I'll link it below. Second, there's no lounge in Terminal 5. There used to be a small contract lounge here called Airspace Lounge, but it closed permanently a couple of years ago. Again, if you want to learn about why airport lounges are so useful when you travel with kids, check out our video, How to Get Access to Airport Lounges. I'll link that down below as well. No. <laughs> no. Don't touch it. Yo, don't touch it. I'm serious. No. Why are you so obsessed with pressing the the ratings buttons in the bathroom. It's fun. No, it's Corona, we don't touch stuff. With all the new coronavirus variants popping up, we decided to double mask it for this trip just to be extra safe. It's been a while since we've flown JetBlue, and this was our first time flying on the Airbus A320neo, and I was really impressed. The cabin has some stylish design touches, like the colored light panels and these pops of orange in the extra legroom section where we sat. Even the bathroom is pretty swanky, with this pretty accent wall behind me. The seatback storage is divided into sections, which helps keep your stuff more organized, but the coolest feature is the seatback touchscreen TV. Not only does it know your name, but it gives you the option of pairing your phone with the screen via Bluetooth so that you can use your phone as a remote control. Right now on all JetBlue flights, they offer complimentary snacks and non-alcoholic drinks, but there's no beer, wine, or alcohol available. 
not even for purchase. Since this turned out to be a longer travel day than we originally expected, we paid for a couple of the eat up boxes that they offer so we could have some cheese and crackers, hummus, artichokes, and olives. One best practice from JetBlue that I think every airline should adopt is that they deplane row by row. You'd think that during this pandemic, people would have stopped jumping out of their seat the minute the fasten seatbelt sign is turned off and all cramming together in the aisle, but nope, they're still doing it. So I'd love to see every airline enforcing a policy of deplaning row by row the way JetBlue does. Even when COVID is over, this would make the flying experience so much more pleasant. If you've watched our video, Nine Ways to Add Some Luxury to Your Next Family Vacation, you'll know that one of the ways we like to upgrade our experience on certain trips is by using a VIP airport service. I'll link the video down below in case you haven't seen it yet. There's a company called VIP Attractions that offers VIP services in both the Kingston Airport and the Montego Bay Airport where we flew into. A representative comes to meet you near your gate and they escort you to an expedited customs and immigration line so you can get through much faster. The Montego Bay Airport wasn't really that busy when we were there, so I wouldn't necessarily say that this type of VIP service is a must-do right now. We did it on this trip mostly because I wanted to capture some updated footage for future travel tips videos we have planned, but it's definitely a perk to be able to steer clear of crowds right now, since in my experience, travelers don't always stay socially distanced enough in immigration lines. After we cleared immigration, we stopped by the Club Mo Bay Lounge for some refreshments. So girls, what drink did you order? Ting. Ting. Last time was a Nevis when we had this, right? We had a lot in Nevis. We actually had two. Yeah, they definitely gave them a lot. That's why we were obsessed with Ting. Yeah, we had two bottles. It's about a 90 minute drive to Ocho Rio, so it's definitely a good idea to grab a bite to eat at the airport before you leave or to bring some snacks with you for the ride. When we arrived at Moon Palace, Jamaica, we had our temperatures taken, we sanitized our shoes, and they gave us a welcome drink and a flower. Then I got our wristbands and we went to check out our room. We stayed at a family deluxe suite, and if you'd like to see the full tour of the suite, I'll link our video down below. By the way, if you're new to this channel, we're the Sinyovi family and we work full-time as travel creators. We're all about inspiring families to explore the world together in comfort and style. We share tips on how you can save time, reduce hassle, and maximize comfort when you travel with kids. If that sounds good to you, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next video. Our family has set a goal of visiting 21 resorts in 2021, and Moon Palace Jamaica is the second one we've been to. Why resorts? Well, we actually have a whole video that explains that, which I'll link below. And I'll also link to our 21 resorts in 2021 playlist so you can check out all the other properties we'll be visiting. That first evening, we had dinner at La Gondola, the Italian restaurant and we were joined by our friend Alex Ojeda. This was our first time meeting in real life, but we've gotten to know each other pretty well the last few months through TikTok. He's a very popular creator on the platform, and we managed to arrange things so that we would be at Moon Palace at the same time so we could collab on some content. His friend Parker Pinnell, also a TikTok creator, was there too, so it was fun to shoot some videos with him as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How's that chocolate milk? Exactly. Alex set the trend. <laughs> if you're a wine lover, La Gondola will be your favorite restaurant at this resort since it has the most extensive wine list. A good number of them are included as part of your all-inclusive stay, but you can also pay extra if you want access to better bottles. My favorite entree here was the lasagna, so definitely don't miss out on that. If you like seafood, the salmon entree and the tuna tartare appetizer are worth checking out too. Now besides La Gondola, you have three other restaurants to choose from for dinner. Buccaneers Reef, which is the buffet restaurant, Pier 8, which is a seafood restaurant with a lot of Caribbean dishes, and Momo, the Asian restaurant where you can either order a la carte or have a hibachi dinner. 
I was so excited the next morning because it was time to hit the breakfast buffet, which meant it was also time for some ackee and saltfish. Our family first visited Jamaica back in 2017, and we stayed then at Moon Palace Jamaica as well. During that trip, I tried ackee and saltfish for the very first time and absolutely fell in love with the dish. But I had no idea then that ackee is actually one of the most poisonous fruits in the world. When we came back to Jamaica this year, I wanted to find out more about the fruit's history and its importance to Jamaican culture. I interviewed Chef Sherman Gordon to learn more about the fruit and actually made a whole separate video about it, so I'm going to link that down below in case you'd like to check it out. The breakfast buffet can be found at the restaurant Buccaneers Reef. For COVID safety, it's not self-serve anymore. All the food is served by the staff. The buffet has all the usual breakfast foods you'd expect, but my favorite part is their wide selection of local dishes, like ackee and saltfish, mackerel rundown, escovitch fish, boiled banana, fried bambi, and much more. The resort in general does a great job of incorporating the local cuisine into its restaurants, so it's not surprising that the resort is just as popular among local guests as international travelers. During our stay, we met a good number of Jamaicans vacationing here, even a chart-topping dancehall artist who's quite the local celebrity. And many of our Jamaican friends in New York also like to stay at Moon Palace when they go home to visit family. So at dinner the previous night, I was scrolling through TikTok when I noticed a comment that asked, are you guys at Moon Palace Jamaica right now? I was surprised because for safety reasons, we never post real time about our travels. So if none of us posted about it, how would anyone know we were there? Well, it turns out that one of our TikTok followers was staying at the resort at the same time. I just, uh, I was walking by and I was like, oh my God, that's Top Flight family. And I was like, oh my God, that's them. I commented on the video and then we this was our first time running into a viewer while traveling, so it was a really cool experience. If you ever see us on a trip, don't be afraid to say hi. Just so you know, in real life, I have a serious case of resting face, but don't be scared off. I promise that I'm actually really nice. No, seriously, even my daughter sometimes are like, mommy, what's wrong? And I'm like, nothing's wrong. This is just my face. You Casual lunch by the pool. There's this place called the Jerk Hut. Obviously, hence the name. There's jerk chicken, there's steamed fish, there's roasted corn, there's this bread called Bammy, which is really good. It goes well with it. Uh, we really recommend it. Like Serge said, if you're a fan of Jamaican food, you definitely don't want to miss out on the Jerk Hut. It's located near the Pier 8 restaurant, so you can walk over to order food in person. But if you're hanging out by the pool, you can also place an order with the poolside servers and they'll bring it over to you. Okay, so I had a realization. So Jamaican festival tastes just like ngao leso, which is a type of Chinese food. So it's kind of like a fried dough stick that we eat with kanji in Hong Kong. It tastes exactly the same. So good. That's one of my favorite things. So this is my one of my new favorite things. There's only one restaurant at Moon Palace Jamaica that requires reservations currently, and that's the Asian restaurant Momo, but only if you're looking to do the hibachi dinner. Hibachi dinners are always a lot of fun, so I definitely recommend that you go at least once during your stay. <laughs> The chef you get can really make or break your experience, so here's an insider tip. Try to request Christopher. He has serious hibachi skills, but also he has such great energy and an endless supply of dad jokes, so he made our dinner so much fun. One, two, three. Oh, oh you got it! You thought it's about to get hot in here. <laughs> After dinner, we hit the boulangerie to get some crepes for dessert, and then it was time for the nighttime show. One area where Moon Palace Jamaica really shines is in its nightly entertainment lineup. The night shows take place in an indoor-outdoor space, 
It's not quite as swanky as the theater at the Grand at Moon Palace Cancun where we stayed a few months ago, but since it's so well ventilated, it actually feels particularly safe right now. We caught a few different night shows while we were there, but our favorite was definitely the last show we saw. First up was the Balancing Man, who was able to balance everything on his head from heavy objects like chairs and tables to feather light objects like this baseball cap. Then came the Fireman, who put on a pretty incredible show. And finally, a steel drums band called the Silver Bird Steel Orchestra came on, and they were absolutely amazing. Not only are they really talented musicians and arrangers, playing everything from top 40 pop songs to dance hall classics, but they had some serious dance and acrobatic skills as well. One of Sean's favorite parts of staying at Moon Palace Jamaica was definitely the Flow Rider. She's tried out the surfing simulator a few times before on previous trips we've done, but it was cool to see how much she improved with just a few consecutive days of practice. One thing Moon Palace resorts are really known for are their spas. We tried out the spa at the Grand in Moon Palace Cancun a few months back and it was amazing. So we were excited to revisit the spa here in Jamaica as well. At 38,000 square feet, the All Spa is one of the largest luxury spas on the island. One thing to know though is that the current COVID regulations for gyms and spas are a bit different in Jamaica than in Cancun. At Moon Palace Cancun, the gym was open, but in Jamaica, it's completely closed. Also, in Cancun, we were able to experience the entire water journey pre-treatment process at the spa, including the sauna, the ice room, and the steam room. But at Moon Palace Jamaica, all of those rooms are currently closed due to COVID. However, you're still able to access the co-ed hydrotherapy pool area before your treatment. The main sensory pool has different water jets that massage different parts of your body. There's also a cool plunge pool, but the hot pool was closed off when we were there. We booked a couple's massage and we got the holistic massage, which is similar to a Swedish massage. You're able to choose between a verbena scented or a rosemary scented massage oil. The therapist technique was on point, so we were super relaxed. We kept our masks on throughout the massage, and of course the therapist had masks on too, so it all felt very safe. It rocks. Thank you. Oh, that's cute. Well, let me see yours. It is Look, it's a rainbow with the sun and this darkness trying to take the sun. Aww. While we were at the spa, the girls hung out at the kids club, known as the playroom. Though it's not a huge space, it's well designed so that there are different zones for different types of play. There's a Lego wall and arcade games, there's a karaoke and performance stage, there's a kitchen and grocery store play area, complete with cute tiny little shopping carts, there's a gaming station, and best of all, there's a two-story play area with slides and a ball pit. The playroom is open every day from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Kids under the age of four have to be accompanied by an adult. The kids who are four and up can be dropped off. Our girls also love the Wired Lounge next door, which is the gaming center and arcade. There are a lot of great excursions you can book through Moon Palace Jamaica, but one I would highly recommend for families is Mystic Mountain. It's only a 10 minute drive from the resort and it's a nature theme park that has thrill rides, gardens, and pools. You can go zip lining and ATVing, but due to some scheduling snafus, we only had a couple of hours to spend here, so we didn't have the time to try those out.
Would you recommend the bobsledding? Yes. And don't go with a screaming mom. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't scream. Yes, she did. It wasn't me. It was, it was. Shaggy. Because we're in Jamaica. <laughs> right, Daddy? Yeah. Um, I got no jokes, good. son. <laughs> Pricing for Moon Palace Jamaica can vary a lot depending on what type of accommodations you're booking, how many people there are in your party, and what time of year you're going. So I always recommend that you start your planning process by going directly to the resort's website and plugging in some dates to see what the price ranges are looking like. You can either book directly with the property, or if there's a travel advisor or travel agent you already work with, they can help too. Now, let's talk about COVID safety at Moon Palace, Jamaica. Every room comes with a sanitation kit that includes masks, hand sanitizer, and wipes. If you order room service or ask for your mini fridge to be restocked, the staff is not currently allowed to actually enter your room while you're there. Instead, you'll grab the tray from them and bring it in yourself. The property requires guests to wear masks in all public areas, except at the pools and beaches, as long as you're socially distanced. And mask adherence among guests and staff was really good. All the lounge chairs at the pools and beaches are distanced, plus they're sanitized daily with electrostatic sprayers. Indoor dining also felt very safe. Not only are you required to sanitize your hands before entering the restaurant, they even give you disinfecting wipes so you can clean your electronic devices too. All restaurants offer QR codes so you don't have to handle a physical menu, and of course, all of the tables are distanced. Moon Palace Jamaica also offers on-site COVID testing. Rapid tests are free for up to two guests per room, and if you need any additional tests, they cost $36 per person. If you're traveling back to a country that requires PCR tests instead of rapid tests, the resort can arrange for on-site PCR tests through a third party, but fees will apply. Okay, that was resort number two of the 21 resorts we're visiting in 2021. If you'd like to check out resort number three, just click that video right there. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications and follow us on TikTok and Instagram at Top Flight Family. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.